all right guys welcome to our channel code with sunny and in this video i will be talking about a nice problem but this problem i don't think this should be considered as a medium type problem but still it teaches us a very good concept like this problem is of educational type you can say because we are going to learn a new concept over here okay so the problem name is 01 matrix and its index is 542 and let's uh, give it a like over here you can see the ratio of number of likes to the number of dislikes is like uh, the ratio is very huge because this problem is an interesting one because as I've already said it is going to teach some good concept given a m into n binary matrix m a t and we have to return the distance of the nearest zero for each cell the distance between the two adjacent cells is one okay so we will be given a binary matrix it means that the every cell will be containing either the value zero or the value one and we have to return uh, for every cell what is the nearest zero that is present with respect to the current cell right if we are looking for this cell let's say uh, okay this cell okay so let me just use this one okay so if you are looking for this one uh, i don't know why it happening over yes if you are looking for this cell you can see that nearest zero that is present over here is this one okay so let's calculate the distance for this cell like this cell is like uh, 1 comma 2 okay so you can see that the distance of this current cell 1 comma 2 with respect to all the zeros that is present over the matrix is like uh, with respect to this one the distance is coming out to be 1 and with respect to this one distance is coming out to be 3 you can see that 1 is like uh, less than 3 so the minimum distance or you can say the least distance with respect to the current cell where the zero is like uh, present at the least distance with respect to the current cell that is that minimum distance there can be many zeros present over the entire matrix you need to find out that zero which is like uh, whose distance is like minimum uh, with respect to all the other zeros okay so if you are talking about cell 1 comma 2 you can see that the distance of this cell with respect to this cell which is containing 0 is 1 and current cell with respect to this cell is 3 so the minimum distance is this one so if we have been said that what is the like coordinate of the adjacent cell not saying it as adjacent uh, what is the coordinate of that 0 cell which is like which is at minimum distance with respect to this current cell that is which is holding this value 1 you are going to say the minimum distance is 1 and the cell is going to be like 0 comma 2 okay there can be more than one minimum distance like not more than one minimum distance there can be more than uh, cells that holding the minimum distance value but we are not going to report the cells like here 0 comma 2 is, uh, is the cell corresponding to the cell 1 comma 2 we are going to tell us the minimum distance you can see for every cell we are going to just report it down, down the minimum distance okay so how we are going to do this problem efficiently you can see that uh, if a cell is already holding the value 0 like uh, this one like this cell it is already holding the value 0 so what is the minimum distance of with respect to like a minimum distance of current cell with respect to that cell which is holding 0 you can see the minimum distance is always coming out to be 0 okay so now here comes this one cell and this one cell and other one cells you can see that uh, the only that is the very first approach that strikes in your mind is why not to do the brute force technique like uh, if we if we need to find out the minimum distance for a cell containing one what you are going to do is you are going to perform a breadth first search or you can say just traverse over the like you just are going to traverse over this matrix and find out the minimum distance uh, contain like find out that cell which is containing zero and which is at minimum distance with respect to source cell but that solution is not like fruitful one because you are having a like for every cell you are going to check and for every cell you are going to uh, perform a breadth first search so it would take a like o of n into m like n square m square uh, complexity is around n square m square I, i'm not very much sure about that uh, okay so complexity is around this one so this is not a fruitful way okay so what i am going to talk about is like uh, using a multi source bfs technique okay so what is the multi source bfs technique multi source 
you can see that uh, what I'm going to do is uh, okay so let us say that what is the answer for that what is the cell containing the value 0 which is at minimum distance with respect to this cell you are going to say that yes this is that cell and what is the cell corresponding to this source cell it is also this one and uh, what is the cell corresponding to this cell it can be like this one or it can be like this one because both are at equidistance with respect to this source cell now just consider one thing that uh, this cell containing the value 0 is uh, is the answer of those cells like is the answer for this cell look okay so let me change the color is the answer for this cell as well as this cell so rather than doing a breadth first search for each respective cells containing one like of this one and this one we are going to approach this problem in a reverse way and what is that reverse way rather than uh, like doing the breadth first search for this one we are going to do a reverse technique like doing a breadth first search or you are going to say a multi source uh, shortage path algorithm from this cell containing zero okay so this is the thing that i need to talk about okay you can use uh, like uh, the extra algorithm with multi source shortage path that's what i have done in this problem right okay so what you are going to do you are going to push up all the zeros all the cells that is containing zeros uh, with their coordinates and the minimum value you can see the minimum values for the current cell is zero and the cell containing the zero is i comma j and each time you are going to check out the neighbor and do a multi-source shortage path algorithm technique it is similar to like a this algorithm you can use a breadth first search also but uh, i've used the shortage path algorithm because you can see that here is one thing that should be kept in your mind the distance between uh, two adjacent cells is always one you can use a breadth first search with the concept that you are going to push up the all the cells containing zeros all at a time in the beginning of your like execution of the program okay you can see that distance between two adjacent cells is always one but suppose that distance between two adjacent cells is something like uh, uh, is different for every adjacent cells like uh, let's say the distance between the these two adjacent cells is uh, 5 and the distance between these two adjacent cells is like 7 and it is like different for every adjacent cell then you are going to use a multi source shortage path dijkstra algorithm okay because the like edge weight it is like similar to a edge weight okay moving from a current node to the next node okay so in that case you need to check it out for that algorithm dijkstra algorithm with multi source shortage path okay but here in the case it is like always one so you can use a queue okay but for a more generalized case i have used that one to have a like a more idea over this problem okay so i think i should have to head over to the code and just explain it out what is being happening over here okay so one thing that i should have to do is like uh, fill up this one okay so what i'm going to do is like uh, you can see that there are two zeros like first zero and its coordinate is like uh, 0 comma 2 okay and the next zero is like uh, zero and its coordinate is like two comma zero okay now just uh, pick up this one from the topmost uh, uh, like the topmost element of this uh, multi set or priority queue like uh, you are going to use a minimum heap okay now this is zero always and this is zero always because it is always containing one and the next step what you are going to pick up the minimum element that is pick up that cell holding the minimum value right now that is 0 comma 2 let's say this is the cell now check out the neighbors you can see initially i am going to fill up the entire matrix with int max and the cell containing value with uh, that is the cell containing the value as 0 with 0 now check out the neighbors you can see this is int max right and uh, the that is the distance is like 0 plus 1 now it becomes 1 it becomes 1 okay again i am going to just discard this one and push up the elements with value 1 that is say you can going to say i am going to push up this 1 comma 0 comma 1 and again this 1 comma and the cell corresponding to that is 1 comma 2 okay again i am pick uh, pick up the cell with minimum value you can see this is the 0 again push up this one and again push up this one okay so in the next case these uh, cells will always uh, like these cells 
will also be pushed and in the next year what you are going to check out the neighbors of this one so it would become like once neighbor is like one plus one this one as two and again this one as two and this one as two okay so if in a reverse way what i have done is like i have started with zeros rather than with ones so the concept is like if you look over the solution like what is the nearest minimum distance for a particular one like in this case with respect to any of the zeros you can see that it is coming out to be this one like the distance is coming out to be one and this is the valid answer because uh, you are going to just do in a reverse way that is for a particular cell holding the value of zero which of the cells is going to have the answer as that cell okay and uh, like a minimum distance as that you are going to do in a reverse and fill up the answers for all the zeros like sorry for all the ones minimum distance with respect to that okay so like this is the valid matrix so let's head over to the code to analyze the multi-source bfs you can see that uh, i have just to use a multi-set you can use a like uh, q also because uh, the distance between two adjacent cells is always one so it doesn't matter the like edge width is not over here so the answer will come out to be correct okay so what is happening over here like n is like mat dot size m is like number of columns and i have taken this multi set to pick up the minimum element and this is the distance matrix which is also our answer first i have uh, iterated over entire matrix and if the corresponding cell is zero i have pushed that element into this multi set like dhtf iso would become zero and s dot insert the corresponding zero value and the corresponding cells coordinate now I trade into this uh, multi set such that it is non empty and every time push up the minimum value and the this with respect like and the corresponding coordinates and check out the neighbors and while checking it out check that if it is a valid neighbor and the moving to the that next cell gives us the minimum then just update the minimum and push that value into this multi set okay you are going to do this until entire cells have been filled with this corresponding values and finally return this dist as you have so, okay so you can use this uh, queue also it will also improve your runtime but i think that this is a valid solution because it may happen that uh, sometimes the distance between two adjacent cells which is which, uh, you can also say that edge weight is going to have a uh, some random values for like it is going to have different for different adjacent cells in that case you are going to use that multi set technique or you can use the priority key okay so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and I will ask the viewers to like this video, share this video and do subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you for watching this video.